the difference between a B2B and a B2C, one thing we have to understand is at the end of the day, we are going to sell it to a human being. So there's, there should not be a much of difference. Yes, there are certain things that we have to consider in a B2B. Let's not think that is something else. It's almost the same. So at the end of the day, we are going to have a human interaction. It's not a much. All the empathy and everything applies to here. In a B2B, the buying cycle is longer. That's only thing. For example, if I want to buy something, in a B2C, I just go see something. If it's on a deal, I buy. But in a B2B, the buying cycle might take a longer time. So in the top of the funnel, we research. Then we said, this is interesting and relevant for me or for my business. And then I want the software. So to buy the software also, it might from here to here also, it might take some time. Okay, now what we'll do is, we will find out what are all the channels that is available. So now what is their property? Their property has got websites. Then we'll figure out what are the other things that we have. Of course, do they need SEO? Yes. Google ads? Yes. Then we have social media. Now, one myth everybody has got is social media might not work for B2B. Who said? That is why at the end of the day, we are, we are targeting human beings. Where are they? They are in social media. So let's not eliminate social media. It is important too. But there should be a different way to address that and different channels. So then we have uh, email marketing, which will work good. Affiliate depends upon business. For some of the affiliates also, it might work. Like for example, today thought leader, if I put affiliate, I can put thought leader. For example, the employees could be a thought leader or maybe the customer could be a thought leader where they can talk about um, their product. Suppose I'm using this product and I like this. You as a company can tell me, okay, here is what you're so much of interested in our product and you love our product. Why don't you become a brand ambassador? Okay, so this could be another advantage. If you take affiliate as a, as a whole, it is not going to help because we think that affiliate is for e-commerce but if you think in a different way so it could be brand ambassadors or influencers so instead of affiliate i'll keep thought leaders influencers and brand ambassadors then what else is important is automation why automation is because we are building the relationship and that relationship takes a longer period of time of course for all of these things major thing is content and analytics so let us go one by one. Now you're saying that they're building website, they're revamping the website, correct? Number one, a good opportunity is to review the website and say what are all the things that can be in line because once they develop the website, it will be very tough. Okay, I'm going to review and I'm going to give you some suggestion based on SEO, based on content, based on resources. So I'm sure they might have a blog but you're going to make them have a blog or name it to resource center or some guides or whatever. Okay. So this is the website part. Now, uh, once you have this one, then you will have to come up with a strategy. Okay, who's my target audience? Now we are talking about target audiences new. So here also what we need to do, we are going to build by a persona. Example, I want to target people who are in age, gender and all those things and occupation their level are they c levels or cmos or ceos so that we go to target then we're going to create multiple buyer persona let us say the ceo is one of the thing also what most of the people do is they target this top level but the people who are making decision for ceos would be the secretary the assistant nobody is targeting them so we should not ignore this so this is additional thing. apart from you doing regular different buyer persona different industry different things you'll have to do this then what you're going to do is we got to identify resources of course resources you might have in-house or you might do outsource or because we are telling that our customers also could be a resource as a thought leader or our employees can also be advocates so resources you have to figure out so identify and find out some resources so this should be in the plan then we are we are going to do research what kind of research we want to do who we did, did already target audience so the audience preference what kind of audience what kind of format of content they like then we're going to say who's my competitors and what platforms they are using 
once you identify this one, you will say, then we are going to say, okay, I need budget. You know how we calculate budget. For example, why we need budget? For content, we need budget. New audience, we are targeting new market we are entering. For this new market, we need brand and also conversion. When I say content, it could be multiple content, video, audio, vlogs, everything. For ads, we need Google ads, definitely. Then we'll have to run social media campaigns and social media ads too. For that, we need budgeting. And then, of course, some software automation and all analytics. Once you have all those things, the biggest part is the content. How is it going to different? Because in this cycle, they are not going to take a decision right away. So that is where content comes into place. When we talk about content, what kind of content? We need to do blogs is an important thing. Because you should have a separate plan for a blog. Start off with weekly once a blog, which is all about educational. So first, we need to reach out to them. In order to do that, we need to run ads. We need to do SEO. But for that, not only directly we are doing, but through content. Through blogs is one example. We want to reach out to them. For creating content, you'll have to do the research for, to identify what are the problems they are facing. This is a big thing. If we understand the problem, it is easy for us to create content according. What are the problems? Problems, how do we find? We go to Google Suggest, answer the public, all the tools that you know. Forums, this is something that they might have. In Slack, for example, there would be a lot of things. Then we have Quora. Identify the problems. So before we come up with the blogs, we identify the problems. Our job is to answer this. Solve this problem. So the biggest thing in B2B is to solve. How do we solve? If you solve the problem, it's easy. Other format of content is something that you might want to think about. Infographics. Because in a B2B, Pinterest might work. And they might want to see various things. And also, slide share. Because corporate people want PPTs. And then, guides. Such as, it could be ebooks cheat sheet checklists in a b2b the target audience are different so they are podcast listeners so audio is plays a major role as well podcast is something that you have to suggest why we are suggesting podcast listeners are c levels the top levels listen to podcast so this is a great opportunity then of course your favorite one everybody's favorite is videos videos live video uh, longer form of content uh, i'm sure they will give some presentations that can be converted so make it into shorter form of videos and then make it for multiple format like for example vertical shorter form of uh, for instagram content plays a major role if this is covered most of the things will be covered but to get the idea this if you can able to do that it doesn't matter any form of content you can create for that either you they need a team or you will have to head the team or something saying that this is what I'm going to give ideas for the content writers, video developer, video graphers, graphic designers, infographics, PPT and all those things. Now coming back to the thing, you know SEO. So SEO by default it is doing. This one they will do only for websites. But what you're going to do is you're going to show them I am going to create blogs. Every week I'm creating a blog. So that means two to five keywords I'm going to add more so this is where you're going to add value see in the next six months I am going to add uh, in a month we have four uh, into six around 25 blogs I'm going to create 25 blogs into two of average I'm saying you can have 50 keywords I'm going to these are new keywords for SE plus all the other content which I am going to do slide share if I add one slide you do the math one into three or four keywords if you have again one week you have 25 slides in a month 25 into same like that slides same like that infographic similar to that podcast so you have a frequency once a week two three keywords so here you get 50 keywords you're here you're going to 50 keywords you're going to go 25 25 so in six months you're going to say i'm going to have at least 250 new keywords which is giving either branding or whatever it is but we'll have to let them know it is not going to happen immediately because it's new so it will take some time so you'll have to educate them this is going to take some time however this is the strategy this is the plan i'm going to get. 
then what we are going to do is SEO by default this is done which is nothing but universal focus more on universal which is apart from the website then we are going to go one by one LinkedIn the CEO and the employees also advocates you have to have it here and the company page groups they might have now it's community and, and various other things basically it is networking and interacting and then comes your ads you will have to run ads this is expensive but still it is happening. again for this you are not going to just run ads you are going to go with the funnel top of the funnel here you are going to do blogs and all this in that you are going to run ads not at the end of this that everybody does but this one nobody does so you will have to not only come up with blogs or slide share or infographics for that you need to run ads see there's a different strategy uh, LinkedIn you have to have again content calendar kind of a thing or flow for every day videos works very well and PPTs and PDFs documents work superbly well now in LinkedIn so you'll have to that pictures and whatever you're having PPTs could be converted to PDFs and that one could also be a video so this is an important platform similarly slide share slide share you should think like a SEO strategy for website all of create multiple all the blog posts can be a PPT so this PPT can be done SEO then it can be optimized and also here also you can run ads slide share is a great thing organically and Quora is a, a excellent thing for a B2B all the questions you're going to answer here one answer a day superb it will be so then then you're going to run ads for that in Quora ads Quora ads works really well because they are asking question you can give the answer as an ad you will also get blog post ideas so those blogs that you're creating can become you can bring that one and bring it and share it here Google Ads you know but Google Ads work really well uh, search ads are superb search ads for conversion leads for conversion display for branding this you don't expect conversion but people know. an important element here comes remarketing they already have an email list this is going to come in then Insta Facebook together I'm combining here also you you know how to come up with the social media strategy so don't think that it is different you follow the same thing only thing is we are going to add the problems as a solution so the problem should be focused this should be marketed not your product what should be marketed uh, customers problem should be marketed because you're giving solution that solution should be marketed this is a game changer of course you'll have to run ads too but you have to create multiple campaigns in all of the ads that you run you have to have multiple campaign brand campaign and usefulness campaign that is all the blogs and everything then you can have a competitor and all those things but at the end you can have your product that is the bottom that's the least one when you're focusing is on more here here superb is custom audience and lookalike audience this is the biggest advantage here though you don't need to go after because they already have customer base based on this customer base you're going to increase this through lookalike audience which will be much more targeted social media that you're going to run ads so if you do this this is apart from normal you're going to do this and then email marketing is going to work email marketing you have to revamp the strategy that they are doing currently whatever they are doing first you need to understand how they are doing it how the performance of the email campaigns then you're going to take this and all of these things you're going to have it here but this you're going to come up with your own strategy now you have content before it's not content here you're going to use these content as a start for all of these things is auto everything should be tied in which software they're using for automation you will have to find zoho or salesforce or whatever so this should be integrated within all the campaign where everything is measured so this is where you're going to nurture the lead and finally making them happy is 
again through automation and through social media giving the others to go and share give them resources you have all the resources here to customize it put their names in there saying that you know this is done by you here i'll give you some infographics go and publish it ppts i'll give it for everything for you you're making them easier to share what people don't do is they are not making it easier this is a complete strategy just on a nutshell but of course it's got some details but if you know this one if you follow this this is a different kind of strategy will this help good